Hello and welcome, my name is Ajax Post and you join me here for the second episode in my first look Let's Play series for Coffee Shop Tycoon. And would you believe, in the few days since I recorded my very first episode, Rift Studios have gone and released it. Yes, it is now a fully released game at version 1.0. Now I'm not going to go through all the release notes, the updates and all the rest of it. There's a, there's a good whack of them. Uh, we'll see a few of them perhaps in passing, but uh, if you want all the info, whatever. If you're after all that, then just head along to their Steam page and you'll get the full detailed list of all the things that have changed since it was last uh, the last Early Access update, which was, I think, a few months ago, to be fair. But anyway, uh, one of the first things we'll notice is when we go to play the game, is this little thing turned up here. Yeah, the moon. It's now an option. We can go and set up a coffee shop on the moon. But to do that, we'll need to complete all the previous scenarios, all the previous locations first. So as we complete each location subjectives, uh, we'll, be un we'll unlock the next in this chain of coffee shops. Wow, it's a coffee shop chain. I never thought of it like that, but it is. Yes, so what we're going to do is carry on from where we left off more or less in the last episode, which is here in the park location. Now, we ha I have actually moved on a, a little bit since the end of the last episode. We have progressed to spring, and I also unlocked a new food item, which was the raisin bread. Now, rather interestingly, once you unlock it, you immediately have access to it in your crate of goodies. So we bought a crate of food items uh, in the last episode. Oh, hang on, I'm running out of coffee beans. I need to order some more. Bear with me for a second. Uh, drinks, yeah, order coffee. We're in spring now, so we'll go for something slightly lighter. So the regular blend, I think, we'll get some of that. Yes, we've got 13 cups available in the uh, air pots over here. Uh, yeah, five and eight, that makes 13. We've only got two left, however, in the bag, ready for the espresso. So we might run out there. Uh, which will disappoint anyone looking for an espresso coffee. Yeah, so once you've opened the food item, you'll see it turns up on the list of items you've got in your crate when you went to order the food, which was here. So ordering food, order food. Yeah, you just order a crate and it comes, as it says, it includes muffins, more muffins uh, and more muffins. And other stuff, not just muffins apparently, but raisin bread too, and, and cookies. Uh, that's still fresh, we've got 14 left, we don't need to order any more just yet. They're doing reasonably well. Now, one of the first things, uh, actually talking of food, before I go on to the, the first thing I want to cover here, uh, I was talking about in the last episode how I couldn't work out how to run the food menu, how I could add things, uh, food items to my menu, to my coffee shop offerings. Well, if you actually look in the help, it kind of tells you. So if you go to food here in the help, it says uh, food needs to be sold to increase profit and experience. Sell food, you need to research recipes, which you've done. We've unlocked them down there. Once food is researched, you can add them to your counter and it highlights it there. Yes, if only I'd bothered to look at the help. And just like coffee beans, you need to order food, blah, blah, blah. Food crates have different quality. That affects the reputation and so on. Yeah, I mean, I used to actually write documentation. I was big. I, if you've seen my other videos on, on other games, I do occasionally talk about documentation and help and manuals and so on. And I am a great believer in documentation. So why on earth I didn't go there? Yeah, shame-faced I am, to say the least. Anyway, the other main thing I wanted to talk about here, before we get into the gameplay, is I said, wouldn't it be nice if we could customise our logos and stuff when we created our company? You can. When you create a new company, you get that very limited list of uh, icons, and you can give your company a name and so on. And that's it, basically. That's all you can do. You can choose from that. But once you're in the game, once you've got your first coffee shop set up, you can go here click on the uh, sign here and it takes you into a customizable panel so you can change the color for your logo I've, i'm i'm using orange because orange is my sort of channel color so we'll do that so we could change that if we wanted to to um oh a nice that's well that's quite a nice yeah it's quite a nice color i always used to be green used to be a favorite of mine when i was younger it still is to be fair 
but it doesn't quite work with the orange, so we'll stay with the orange, I think. So we'll go back from that. Now, we can here, say, pick any other logo which are built into the game, but what you can do is click on this. So this takes you to your folders, and you can find in here any other suitable images. Now, what I've discovered is that if I actually uh, put in my, my proper... So if I change that to uh, where I keep my... Uh, let's play video recording. So if I come in here, I've got a whole host of different logos and so on that I could use, some of which are rather square. Uh, so if we say, ooh, the square logo, what does that look like? That's like that. But and let's not, uh, we'll remove that one. Can I remove you? Um, I'm not sure I can. <laughs> I do want to, I'm sure I could, ah, remove, there it is. Hover over it for a bit and you can remove it. Oh, I've got some others which are slightly larger. Okay, so if we take that one, for example, which is a very old channel background I used to use. Now, if I pick that, which is a big square oblong thing, it's rectangular, in fact. If I accept that, it does kind of try and squeeze it into that round space, that circular space. And it doesn't really work, does it? So ideally choose a square or a circular image if you've got one, because that will generally work best. So I've got uh, my channel logo here, which I'll use. I shall get rid of this other one. Wasting space. So we'll use that instead. So that's how you do it. You can change the colour. You can change the name of your company as well there, as you saw. Uh, or you can change your image. I like that. I am very much happier than I was. Uh, towards the end of the last episode. Let's get us back to my preferred view. We're not great, making a great deal of money, but what we could do, we could improve our reputation by adding in a little extra decoration. We had, for example, yeah, a menu here. Now, what's our reputation at the moment? It's 48 out of 60. So if I buy that and put that, say, there, What's our reputation now? 60 out of 60. So that should boost our reputation and get us going en route to achieving our reputation level of 2,000, which will give us our next big boost. Do I need to brew more coffee? It seems most people are taking espressos. So what I might as well do is add in another coffee style which they would use. Now I'm just thinking we're a couple of months away from summer, so the ice, we'll get the iced coffee later when we actually turn into summer. But if I make, say, a latte, that's a bit, oh, 35 and a half. Oh, I hadn't noticed them doing halves before. Uh, we'll do an Americano, I think. There you go, it's another hot drink. I've unlocked that, that's cool. So the Americano, uh, I'll be using that. So whether they want an Americano, an espresso, or a regular Joe, they can find it there. And we're making a fair amount of money. Oh, we've only got eight food items left, so let's order some more. Uh, order food. Another 20, I think that's all we need. That's only $40, so we'll take that. That's good. And well, we, that's not gone off yet, so we can carry on selling our existing crate, and our new crate will arrive in uh, 30 seconds, thereabouts. We're reasonably profitable by the look of it. We're not making huge amounts of money. Well, that's all right. Oh, the food is ready. That's in the manager, I think, isn't it? So we can drop the old crate and add the new one in. But that old crate hasn't gone out of use yet. Actually, can I add that one? Ah, uh, no. You can only use one crate at a time. Oh, that's interesting. That's regular food. Oh, maybe you get different types of food. Can you? Chocolate, cakes, blueberries, flatbreads. Maybe, they yeah, different types of food. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> the thing is, playing this game, I'm going to get rather hungry and thirsty for good coffee. And Oh, it's automatically switched to the new crate. Oh, that's excellent. Good. That saved a little bit of micromanaging on my part. 
brew drinks. Oh yeah, you can see here it's espresso. Actually, an Americano. Actually, let's make that seven dollars as well. There you go. Oh, the price for my regular is low. Oh, it's great. Uh, it depends who's coming in buying it, I suppose, doesn't it? Yeah. Right. Uh, these, uh, here we go. If I use that one first, get rid of... Oh, that one's empty now. Good. So we could fill that up. More regular row. I need to buy some more coffee. There right, we go. Uh, summer's coming, so perhaps we'll go with the even lighter style. The uh, Lumni, Lumi, Serrado. Is that where it's from? Could be Serrado in Brazil. I, said, I, I do approve of the detail in the game. I like games which have detail. Something's happened. Oh. Oh, my cashier is uh, inspired and more likely to order twice. Now, if they're doing that, we need more tables. Now, we did upgrade when we got 100 fans or whatever. We did add more table options to our... Tr we need to be in here, don't we? That's it. So we've now got... We're using the simple black wooden one. Now, these other tables have this colour icon here, which means they come in different colours. Nice. Um, a four. Do you want a table of four? Let's put a table. Yeah, it's the same price, isn't it? So if I click on that, I can choose a different styly. Um, yeah, I quite like that. The green is okay, but it's a little bit pale green. It doesn't match my dark green colour for the outside of the cafe, does it? If it did, I might choose that. But I think we'll go for that. That's a nice clean look. So we'll put you there and rotate you like, actually no, we will rotate you like that. I think that's good, Oop, no, place it, that's it. And then we've got to go back here, go to tables, go to chairs, and oh, should we use the Pantone? Those, no, we'll use proper chairs, we'll use proper chairs. And we can change the color of these as well. Well, I quite like that blue, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll put one there. We'll buy it again. Again, you, you're, you're never happy, whichever sort of purchase choice the game offers you, whether you want it to always have the asset there ready to plonk another one, to buy another one automatically to keep it on the cursor, or whether it lets go and you have to click again to buy another example. But, uh, yeah, either way, I'm, I'm happy either way. To be honest, I would prefer it if it was still on my cursor, but that's just personal preference. And that's that. That's good. Go back to normal mode. It does make that other table look a bit naff, doesn't it? I suppose I could put the other chairs there. You don't know me, okay? I broke into your competitor and stole some information you might want, but it comes at a price. $50. No, I'm going to play with a straight bat for the moment, I think, so not now. I mean, my reputation is already 71% of my target of 2,000. Oh, the coffee's ready. Good. How are we doing? Uh, we'll use that one first to get rid of it. That's the Italia. That's fine. That's good. Speed things up a little bit. My reputation is doing very nicely. Oh, I've got a very high decor rating, 96 out of 60. Awesome. My reputation has increased. Clients will appear more frequently. Remember to keep them happy. Okay, so it's a matter of keeping up with them. Oh, I've got three stars now. So perhaps ought to buy some more coffee. Just in case. Oh, summer's here. Right, excellent. So what we're going to do, we're going to buy some regular I think okay and also unlock the iced coffee because that is a summer drink so that will add to our reputation yeah so we'll buy that that's good now if I go to my menus go away that's it so if I go to my menus drinks manage the menus uh, so if I go to the summer menu, I can add 
uh, regular coffee, or I can add all of them, and the iced coffee. Back, that's it. So that will that will automatically turn up when we have uh, when summer appears, when summer comes around. Oh, I, I didn't add the other drinks to my normal menu. Uh, actually, what I'll do, let's pause this for a second, so so I don't get lost. So if we go to, we'll add all the drinks to each menu. So I don't need to rely on a normal menu. So I'll do that and that and the espresso and you can see there if I serve iced coffee during the spring I will lose 25% reputation for serving it because it's not appropriate yeah it's out of season so that's the spring menu uh, you don't change food I think between different seasons as far as I'm aware time may tell time may tell indeed so I'll add all these there that's good. And finally, the winter menu. We'll add uh, you and you and you. Excellent. So that is done. Supply. Food. So we've only got nine there now. Could we offer more food? We've got $390 in the bank. Let's open up brownies. Who doesesn't like a good brownie? Yeah. It's another $30. Awesome. So we'll open up the brownies here and we'll take those away and we'll add brownies. Sweet. 80% of our reputation, but we do need to order more food, I think. Uh, supply, order food, another crate of 20. Thank you very much. How are our drinks doing? Uh, supply of drinks. Got nine cups of that, 20 cups of the Americano. Oh, we've run out there. Oh, we could add, add the light roast. We'll brew the light roast. That's it. Oh, you're not happy though, are you? Price is great. Okay. Uh, okay, they weren't too happy with the coffee bean, perhaps. That's the issue. Perhaps I should start paying more attention to the actual coffee bean and the type of coffee I'm offering here. Could we offer... Yeah, it's starting to get expensive. I've got $400. Offer a latte as well. Oh, go on then. Okay, that's good. And we'll add that into our menus for summer. Yes. And for spring, yes, and also for autumn. Just wondering if this menu system could be improved slightly. I don't know. I think, again, because I've, I've not actually been with the game since it entered early access, it's dif difficult for me to perhaps judge and comment authoritatively on what's going on here. Uh, did we enter we did edit the spring menu, did we? Yes we did. That's good. Okay, I think we've got another crate of food come in. We're fine with that. We're 87% of our reputation is good. Got loads of decor. This is good. Ooh, we're running out of beans. We are running out of beans, so we need to supply Order coffee. We'll go back to the Italian now. We're, we're going to head into autumn soonish, I suppose. Have that ready. Uh, our food. I th we have got enough food, haven't we? <laughs> he said. More food. Yes, we have. That's. Well, they're still waiting. Yeah. We're not selling quite enough food. I think I ordered that crate a little bit early, but never mind. Over 90% of the way to our reputation hit of 2,000. And we're running out of beans again. That's the trouble. Once you, once you become popular, everyone wants, uh, wants coffee. Get some more ordered in, just in case. Oh, that one's empty now. So we'll to brew you. Thank goodness the coffee arrived just in time. 
We're rapidly approaching our reputation target. Nice how people are making use of uh, of our seating options. Oh, we're running out of food. Oh, hang on. What does that icon mean? Uh, okay. I'm not entirely sure. Status is normal. They're okay with the brownies. Okay. Maybe I didn't have the type of drink they wanted. Maybe that's what that means. Yeah. Uh, do I have... I think I have got food. Uh, food. Supply. Food. Yes, that is ready and waiting there. That's good. I, I start panicking when I see low numbers. There you are. It's automatically filled. <laughs> Restocked the shelf. Okay, we need to get invited to the Dulat Awards. This is one of the things which uh, I saw when I was looking at the game uh, before recording my first episode, which we've not seen as yet. It's an annual award ceremony where you could be nominated for different types of awards. Oh, bad service. Really? Oh, dear. Uh, what's wrong with you? Um, you're happy. No, I could select trading, which takes you out of use. But I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Now, I'm not sure how you actually get invited to those awards. Now, I wonder if the help will tell me anything useful. Uh, do lat awards. A yearly event. Uh, if your store has gained enough reputation. Yeah, this, this, this description here is fairly old. I think there's more to say about it. Again, which is described more in the... That person wasn't happy. Describe more in the patch notes. What's been changed? How root? Oh, okay. Uh, we seem to have an issue with with the service here, which I'm not happy about. People should be happy with the service. I don't know how you get invited to those awards. Maybe you just need to be brilliant. Hmm. I'm not, I don't like this. This is bad experience. We're seeing a lot of that. They were quite happy. Autumn is here now. Good. So we're serving different types of coffee. Most other people are happy. You're not. Tastes like bar. What? Okay, now what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to select training for Diona Saunders. So, what can we do here? I want to improve service. Right, by two. Okay, which, which would be a nice boost, or by three. 20 or I could spend 45 increasing it by 6 let's do that one I think service and speed or the one above no definitely she's not a barista so we'll train you there I think you are still working yes but you'll spend some time in training. Don't know how that works. I wonder if the help tells me. Oh, something's happened. Uh, was someone boosted or something there? Oh, yeah. Bean freshness is reduced 27% slower when Adam Slade, our barista, is involved, which is a good thing. Uh, we could perhaps open up a new type of coffee. I think a mocha. Yes, we'll do that. We need to add that to our menus. Uh, so this is the spring menu. So if we add mocha to that. And we should do it for the winter as well. Well, we're featured in a local newspaper's article. So we'll expect more clients for a few days. Oh, so the iced coffee comes out of the airport, does it? Ah, interesting. And I'm just about to run out of that. 
And let's say we will make it. Yeah, we'll do the regular for that. That's fine. More food options. Oh, blue I love blueberry as well. Blueberry, whatever that is. Muffins, yes. Oh, go on then. So we need to add that to our counter. Blueberry muffins. Now that improves our reputation and improves all sorts of other things as well. So it should make us more popular and that should help get us to the uh, Dulat Awards. I need to buy some more food. Uh, yeah, again, just the one crate will do. Do I need to order more drinks? I probably ought to order some more. Again, we'll go with Talia. A proper winter coffee. Okay. Uh, yeah, this, she's quite happy with her salary despite having been trained. Which is alright. What about Adam? Again, he's got a nice happy face. Which is excellent. Uh, complaining about the price of the chocolate cookies. Are they indeed? Oh. Why is that then? Uh, okay, uh, so we go here. Get a food. Too expensive. They are looking a bit old actually, so I'll drop that. Okay, so we should now use that. So that's 20 uh, food items left. They're still saying it's too expensive, but they're fresher now. Winter's here. Nice. Okay, we'll make them a little bit cheaper. That's better. Oh, the air pot probably needs filling again. Indeed it does. Brew that. Could probably do with ordering more. Oh. Okay, we'll go for the regular. That should get here just in time. There it does, just in time <laughs> to ensure our barista can carry on espressoing coffee. 207 fans. Actually, we're not that far away from being able to add more decorative items to our delightful Ajax Beans coffee shop. Getting lots of... Yay! I've gained 220 fans, so I can now unlock more styles of coffee. And a few more lovely decorative items. Ooh. Ooh, these look like proper proper grinding, brewing, and making coffee type stuff. I can get a more exciting counter. Oh, I say. Right, let's pause this for a second. So, counter-wise, a fancy counter for only $100. Uh, more space, more hands, three employees, uh, three airports. It looks fancier, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I ah, can you put two airports on the small counter? That's the main difference. And two staff. Okay, I'm not sure that's worth it at the moment. Food items, croissants, blueberry. Ooh. Oh, stop it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have my tea soon, I think. <laughs> uh, machinery. Uh, we have got a... Now, this gives us better quality, better speed. A better grinder. A better brewer. And better espresso. Okay, let's buy that, I think. So, I'll replace that machine. Okay, that, that goes in there. Now, we mentioned a while ago uh, things can be held in storage. Yeah. Now, once you finish one scenario, one location, and you're and another, and the next location opens up on the map. Now, I don't know if you can move your machines from one location to another. I don't know, or whether if you get bigger and bigger counters, you can put different types of the same machine on there. So if we have a counter with two espresso machines, then we could have one basic one and one or advanced one, or intermediate as it calls it. I don't know. Well, we'll find that out obviously as we go through playing. Uh, decorative items. Uh, 
decorations and lamp and a cactus okay more decorations <sighs> inspirational quotes yeah let's do that I think actually if I spin this around uh, is there a ah okay it's that wall there I want to put it on that's it Oh, I've still got a bit on my cursor. We'll put you there. That's good. Back to normal mode. Put the walls down again. Turn around. Okay. Uh, our decoration always oh, well over the top. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Uh, we could perhaps get better grinders and brewers for the regular coffee, but we shall see. Oh, hang on. It looks like someone wasn't happy. Service. How can you say that? The owner has been specially trained only just recently. And she's really happy at her work. Hmm. Don't know. You're happy too. You don't look terribly impressed. Yeah, it's a bit expensive, is it? Really? I don't think it is, you know. And supply of drinks. Yeah, we need some more coffee. Uh, I'll go to Italia again. I have been invited to the Dulate Coffee Awards next month. Get ready. Something popped up then. What was it? I didn't see it. What? what? No. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, I think I know what this means. I think I know what this means. Let me just save this quickly. There you are. That's saved. If I go here. Yes, our next location has opened. A vibrant urban location in the heart of Pinewood. It's going to cost us $300. We've got $850. Okay, and we don't know what the objectives are. But what we're going to do, we're going to play on here for a moment longer, till next month, until the Dulate Awards, and see if we win anything. And we'll start uh, uh, the new location in the next episode. And here we are, it's time for the Dulate Coffee Shop Awards, hosted by Brandy Styson. Looking fabulous in that gorgeous purple outfit. And we are indeed excited about this year's categories. And the first category is Cashier of the Year. Bad, oh dear, bad service orders. That's not good. Fast, fast orders, that was very impressive. But I think compared to the other uh, uh, nominees, we're not looking too good. And the winner is... The drama. La Boulangerie du Parc. Ha, well. Unfortunately, yeah, that's uh, not uh, too unexpected, to be fair. Well, not unexpected that we didn't win it. And I think these trophies appear and you can add them to your shop, which we might, if we win any, we shall see that. And the next category is Roaster of the Year. Oh, we're looking good in this. Yes, 100% good quality beans. A Sasquatch and Sasquatch not doing quite so well. And the winner of the Roaster of the Year is... More drama. Ajax Beans! Oh yes, we have achieved a trophy. We have been recognised for our quality of our roasting. Congratulations to all the winners. It's going to be a very competitive year. This was a very competitive year, rather, past tense, but next year is going to be even tougher. Ooh, the prize categories for next year are Roaster of the Year and Fantastic. Gain a large number of fans. Ooh. Okay, now hopefully we can keep um, on top of the roaster uh, category here. Uh, we need to attract fans. Ah, good. We look forward to seeing you again next year. Enjoy your coffee. I've won 100. Yay! Expect more customers. Well, we'll do that. But what for the moment? You have a new trophy. I t ah, I knew. I actually read the patch notes for the release. I did indeed. So that's under items. So that will be here. Ah, place that. 
Actually, before I do, I want to check. Decor rating is 108 at the moment. And if we go and place that, I could sell it, but I'm not going to. There, in the window. Can you... What's it look like if you rotate it? I think that's... Yeah, that's, that's an ideal orientation for it. Oh, my decor rating has gone 120. That's very impressive. And we've got a boost. Excellent. So I'm going to finish this episode here. I'll just save it to make sure nothing too unexpected happens. And say thank you so much for joining me today for this episode of Coffee Shop Tycoon. If you've enjoyed this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs yuppie button. Even better, if you've got anything to say about what I'm doing with the game, if I should have done things differently, better, or whatever. Ooh, more clients. We're going to run out of stuff. Um, okay, I'm going to pause it then. Go away, arrows. <laughs> okay, we'll, yeah, I'll deal with that later. We'll pause it for the moment. Uh, so, yes, if you've got anything to say about what I'm doing with the game, or indeed the game itself, then please do drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, now will be an ideal opportunity for you to do so. Just click on that subscribe icon. It'll be somewhere around this video. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Coffee Shop Tycoon. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.